One after the other, these people don't the cast themselves, as Atiku Abubakar don't finally say the truth to which he has been hiding. And on the other side, there has been a rumor or news that Peter Obi wants to leave the Labour Party. So in this video, I'll be giving the full update. Please just do well to stay connected to the end of this video to get the full update. So, my people, you are welcome back to my channel once again, Connect React. As always, strive at giving you the legit update and trending news, be it in politics or anything that is going on around. And I beg, if you are just joining this channel for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and to always enjoy our update. Do well to turn on the notification bell to always be the first to get notification whenever I drop new video. Back to the main matter. Well, like I said about Atiku Apupaka. Don't finally talk. Oh, well, he didn't win according to him because of Peter Obi. And um, some Nigerians actually agree with what he said. And why some didn't actually. So I'll be playing the video shortly and I'll be coming back after this video to give you the full details whether Peter Obi is leaving the Bobati or not. This is the video and please don't forget to like as you are watching. Enjoy. I need to think, you know, that. I have anything against labor. I think Peter was in a rush. Do you know why I say he was in a rush? When the campaign started and our PDP governors sat down and said they must produce the president amongst them. They must produce a vice president amongst them. They must produce a chief of staff amongst them. Peter got scared and, and, and left. I did not get scared. I, 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 I stood up against the governors. When we formed this PDP, some of them were parents were in secondary school or university. So, so why should I be afraid? So I stood up and I fought them. They fought me, yes, and I fought them. And I won the primaries. So if he was there, nothing could have stopped him from becoming, you know, a, a running mate. Because I had, I, had, I had the right to choose whoever I wanted, you know, as, as my running mate. So the question of uh, whether I will work with Peter or not, whether Peter uh, wounded uh, PDP, yes, to some extent he did, because all the votes he carried, there are PDP votes in the South, South and the Southeast. So that's, that's true, but that's politics anyway. But whether, you know, he will achieve his objective, you know, by that or not, that is left to God to decide. Huh, like I said earlier, last, last, Atiku Abubakar don't finally admit to. And on the other side, there has been a rumor about whether Peter will be a slave in Labour Party or not. But like I said, it has not been confirmed yet. And Peter will be or any of his aide never come out to, to claim whether the rumor that fake or the truth. But let me ask you this question. In case Peter will be just decided one day that he wants to leave Labour Party, <laughs> my people, how you take see this matter because we never can tell you but the pressure on peter b these days is becoming too much and this could be you know another propaganda from the opposition parties we all know how things are these days among the labor party people so in the comment section let us know what you think about what mr Atiku abubakar said also, should in case Peter will just come out to talk, say he won't come out for Labour Party. What do you think is going to happen? Please share your honest thoughts with us in the comment section and don't forget to like and share this video.